oh my god guess what <laughs> i am getting lasik eye surgery yeah people are probably like wow you're crazy maybe no i'm kidding <laughs> So I am just getting home from my pre-op appointment at Kelly Vision Center based here in New York City. I was invited out by the office um, just to come in to see if I qualify for the surgery. And after a few tests, I in fact am a perfect candidate. <laughs> um, we had to just do some vision tests just to take a look, I think some x-rays too, just to take a look uh, behind my eyes and make sure those blood vessels, um, those nerves were intact and strong and healthy and they are in fact good to go for the surgery. I do wear glasses. Well, you probably never see me with them because I don't enjoy wearing them. I got them years ago when I was in college because I was having trouble uh, seeing the lecture boards. I was like, look, even sitting front row isn't solving this for me. I need to get a pair of glasses. Um, so finally went into the doctor's office, got me some glasses, but I was only wearing them in class. Day to day, I'm completely fine. But when it comes to, I don't know, say navigating, seeing street signs from far away, you didn't want me being the person doing that. And it's become an issue for me because it's like, look, I'm only 25. I think my vision should be better than this. So LASIK is such an easy um, and permanent resolve. Yes, it is permanent. Um, well, it should last about 70 years. So being that I am 25, it should be a lifetime, right? You're probably like, oh, you're 25. Is that too young to get LASIK? It's not. That was one of my first questions to the doctor. Like, is this actually, is this right for me? Um, and young people, we can get this procedure, especially if you are similar to me, but in a position where you're like, look, I want my eyesight to just be better. Like it should be better. And I'm too young to you know, be going through this. LASIK could be an option for you, of course, if you qualify. So I have about two weeks until the actual procedure. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay, I'll see you guys day of surgery. Queen's throne. Ooh. 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 Look at this apparatus. <laughs> okay. You feel calm? Yeah. Good. That's a I thought I was going to be like freaking out, but I'm not. No. It's very calm energy in here. It is. All well, like, positive. All well, positive. Baby. It's only that's right, the first you know? thing I said when I came for my first appointment. That's I good. said, everyone's so happy here. It's mm. only right. It's only right, you know? <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a measurement to confirm what we did on the day of the consultation, okay. make sure we have the same numbers. Then I'm going to put those numbers in the laser and I'll talk you through the whole process. Good morning. <laughs> so it's the um, morning after the procedure. I'm up. My eyes are open. Last night I had to sleep with these. Mm. Actually, I have to sleep with these for the next couple of nights. Um, they're just to make sure I don't put any pressure on my eyes while I'm sleeping. Um, but yeah, I woke up. This eye is bothering me just a bit. It just feels a bit sensitive. Um, but much better than 
they were feeling last night. So immediately after the surgery, Dr. Kelly let me know like, okay, after the anesthesia wears off in the eyes, this is where you're gonna start feeling those like symptoms we talked about. So uh, some light sensitivity, some burning, uh, maybe some itching. Um, and that's why he advised that we do the surgery like later on in the evening so I can just come home and go to bed. So probably like 30 minutes after the procedure, that's when the medicine started to wear off in my eyes. So I was starting to realize like something happened. Um, man, it was like six straight hours of burning. <laughs> it it wasn't horrible, but it was kind of bad. Um, but that was the worst part of it. Like the procedure itself, I didn't feel anything. Um, you yeah, know, it was all like after the fact. So this morning, I just have a little bit of almost just my eye just feels a bit sensitive, and maybe because it's super bright this morning, so I did pull my shades. But it's just this eye. This eye actually feels pretty normal. Um, and Dr. Kelly said that they would. I probably just have just a couple of days of my eyes just, you know, getting adjusted. Um, also, over the next week, I have to use these eye drops. So I need to go ahead and put those in this morning. So let's go do that. I can't believe I have new eyes. <laughs> okay. Let's do one drop into both eyes four times a day. And do one drop into both eyes four times a day. Okay. Both of these I need to do four times a day. So morning, uh, lunch, dinner, and then before bed. Here's the thing though. <laughs> I'm not really good at putting things in my eye, but here we go. Oh, this one. Two. Two. So I will be back at Dr. Kelly's office um, tomorrow for my post-op just to make sure everything is looking good after the surgery. I will catch up with you guys after the post-op, but so far, so good. Yeah, the blood, the blood circulation, the circulation looks great. Uh, the optic nerve looks good. So this all looks good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I am just getting back home after my post-op with Dr. Kelly. I'm so happy to hear that everything is looking great. I am recovering well. Um, I still have to take my eye drops now for the next five days. And then I'll be back in about three weeks to see Dr. Kelly again, just to make sure everything is looking good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, Dr. Kelly and the entire Kelly Vision Center team for having me. You guys treated me so well, made sure I was comfortable throughout the entire process. And I don't think I would have rather gotten this done with anybody else. So if you are considering LASIK or even just interested and you're based in New York City, please go and check them out. Me and my new eyes, we're going to go see this new world. It's really like, welcome to New York City. So many things I don't think I've just seen before, even looking out of my window. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that. Again, thank you guys for watching and until next time.